So I'm Greg Williams, I'm the editor of Wired and we're here at the Francis Crick Institute in central London for the fifth Wired Health event. It's where we bring together uh, leading lights from pharmaceuticals, the healthcare industry, ad science and technology to figure out what the future of healthcare is. Today you're going to hear from a very wide variety of uh, innovative experts. More neuroscientists than you can shake a stick at. I came for stimulus of how we could work differently with companies to shorten the patient journey to diagnosis and rare diseases. I'm keen to see what's going on in the startup world. I'm here basically to listen to, to what is happening around the world, to learn, also to look at potential uh, areas of collaboration for us to continue to be the first in, in, in everything that we do. I'm really interested in the VR and immersive tech stuff happening today, but I'm always willing to hear something different and new, and that's what, that's what Wired Health provides. From pregnancy and childbirth to periods and menopause, being a woman is never dull. Here in the UK, 51% of the population are women, and yet when it comes to women's health, technology has really lagged behind. Aging is the major risk of death from heart disease. The aging is also the major risk for cancer, and aging is the major risk for diabetes and Alzheimer's. The only thing that we can do effectively is to target aging. I've been to one or two events like this, and and just the, the creativity and the chance not just to see some amazing speakers, but just to network with people you wouldn't necessarily get a chance to talk to. And there are many, many other diseases which biotech and modern medicine has impacted, uh, including orphan diseases such as multiple sclerosis. Despite that progress, current medicines are fundamentally limited. It's just amazing to see all these people working together to create these outcomes, these results. So. With one in two of us now likely to face a diagnosis of cancer in their lifetimes, this is a mission that should bind us all together with a collective sense of purpose. And of course, none of this could happen without the amazing support of our sponsors, EY, uh, Gilead, Modius and Kadar. I think Wired gets it right to actually really try and fuel innovation, bringing small and large organisations together. Now we're really excited to be partnering with Booper on a really exciting project tomorrow, which is really going to help a lot of early stage startups get the most out of accelerator programmes. I think I'd say it's uh, one of the most interesting events of the year. It's bringing together the researchers, the startups, the big corporates to look at where health's going next. Sometimes we can be so internally focused and you actually need to leave the office to understand and see what else is going on to get that stimulus and I've actually found that in this event. Because if William Gibson says the future's already here, it's just not evenly distributed and I think things like Wired remind people that, you know what, this isn't 10, 15, 20 years away, it's here.